I see her from across the bar coming at me with like this this look, you know, and everyone like sort of clears a path for her and steps aside like the Red Sea or whatever. And I'm like, what is with this nut job? And you don't even know who she is. I've never seen her before in my life. I was there with Rima. You remember Rima? No. She's a friend of mine. Anyway, I was there with Rima, and suddenly this lady is in my face. She's like yelling and sweaty and really pissed off. Why? I don't even know at this point. Apparently it has something to do with her boyfriend who's at the other end of the bar. Were you flirting or? No, I don't even know who she's talking about. But anyway, she's in my face and her breath is like. Oh, boozy? Yeah, boozy, but even worse, there's like something rancid stuck to the roof of her mouth. Ugh, ew. Like rotting peanut butter or something. Good lord, Izzy. And she's harassing me and blowing her stank breath in my face and cussing. Oh my god, you would not believe the words that come out of this woman's mouth. And you don't even know who she's talking about? Well, she's talking about Augie. Oh, I thought you didn't know her boyfriend. I mean, I didn't know at the time, but I figured it out later. Oh, she must be Augie's girlfriend. So you, you know him? Yeah, I know him, but just let me finish that. Up. I'm sorry. So anyway, she's all like, You bitch! Fuck you, you bitch! I'll fuck you up, you bitch! Izzy. I'm sorry. F you, you bitch! You know, all that, and like talking like a maniac. Uh -huh. And people are staring, and I'm starting to get self-conscious. Oh, sure. And I don't know what to do because the place is like so crowded, and she's a good woman, like hefty, more chins than a what does mom like to say? Uh, more chins than a Chinese phone. <laughs> exactly. So I can't even get around her to escape, and I'm starting to feel violated. You yeah, know? sure. And like my personal space, my dignity, whatever. So I made a fist. I hauled off, and boom. Wait, what does that mean? It means I hit her. No, you did. It's crazy, right? Oh my god, you hit that woman? I didn't, I couldn't get around her and she was screaming like a retard. Izzy. What would you have done? Well, let's sure as hell wouldn't have hit her, Jesus. And you know what they don't tell you? It hurts to hit someone. It really freaking hurts. Well, yeah. Like in TV, it's all that I show and boom. But for me, it was like, motherfucker, that kills. <laughs> Look at my knuckles. What? Nothing. You don't approve? I didn't say that. This lady was at me. I know, I didn't say anything. But you want to, though. I just... I worry about you. Don't worry about me. She was the one on the floor. You know what I meant. You were in a bar fight. So? Is he a bar fight? This lady was in my face. I know, but it's just so... What? Jerry Springer. <laughs> what does that mean? Do you think I'm trashy? Well, you did punch a woman in the face. She provoked me. Were you drunk? No. I thought you were going to be Together. I really did. Don't judge me. I thought you were going to take things easy. Oh my god, Becca, why do you always have to... Look, Izzy, you're not a kid anymore. You can't keep doing this kind of stuff. Oh, I didn't realize there was a cutoff date. Well, there should be. For acting like a jackass, there should be a cutoff date. Were you on anything? Oh my god. Were you? No, why did I say anything to you? I don't know, why did you? Look, I went out. I got into a fight. I thought it was a funny story. I thought you'd be amused. Well, I'm not. Clearly. But Becca, I'm still pooping too, you know? I, I know it's not the same, but it's still hard, okay? Don't, don't do that. Do what? What, I'm not allowed to be upset anymore? No, you're not allowed to use him. What are you talking about? As an excuse. I wasn't using him as an excuse. I'm just saying it's, it's been hard to pull it together for all of us. Is he, just please. And I wasn't drinking when I hit that woman. I was sober. Yeah. Stone sober. Yeah, right. I was. I just had soda that night. You think she's going to press charges? What? No. I'll give a killer. Plus, she's moved out with her cousins or whatever. Wait, what are you talking about? She moved out of Augie's place. They're not together anymore. Wait, I'm sorry. Do you know these people? Well, the boy, the girlfriend I only heard about, Augie, I know. What did you do, Izzy? What do you mean? To this woman, what did you do? I told you. I hit her. Before that? Nothing. It was the first time we met. People just don't scream in your face for no reason. Sure they do. You need to get out more. Were you sleeping with him? This Augie guy or whatever his name is? You were sleeping with him, right? Where are you going with this? Well, look, Iz, you talk like you're some innocent bystander at all. Is it? You don't even know who this woman is. I and didn't. She was screaming in your face. You were sleeping with her boyfriend. That is so beside the point. Is it? The things were over between them for a while. They were just living together because of the rent situation. He didn't care. She didn't care what he did. So she didn't accost you in a credit bar for no reason? Because she's a lunatic. And Augie told her I was pregnant. 
Oh my god, Izzy. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> You're gonna love him. He is such a great guy. He's a musician. Oh, that's terrific. No, no, not like you think. He gets work. He's a working musician. So this is why you're here? You came over to tell me you're pregnant? Pretty much. I knew there was something up. You're not one to pop by on a Saturday afternoon. I pop by? How long have you known? A few weeks. A few weeks and you're just telling me this now? Jesus, Beck. What, you didn't want to tell me? No. Why not? What do you think? Everything's so fucked up. Does mom know? Yeah. Okay, so you told mom before me. I had to. God, Izzy, I stop saying that. Look. What are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do with this whole thing? I'm gonna keep it, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> Izzy, I think this is the exact type of thing that gives people clarity, and Augie agrees with me. Izzy, I, look, I know this is hard for you for a number of reasons, but I don't need a lecture right now. I don't need advice. I don't need whatever it is you're composing in your head. I just, I need you to be happy for me, okay? I need you to pretend to be happy for me, even if that's not what you're feeling at the moment. Can you do that? All right? 